So you want to start a business, but you have no idea what to sell. You have no idea what kind of business you want to do. Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys three things that I personally consider when I want to venture into a new business. Hi, my name is Queen and I'm a small business owner. And on my channel, I talk about everything, entrepreneurship, starting a business and the likes. So let's get right into the video. The first thing that I'm going to ask you guys to consider when determining the product that you want to sell is a product that is easy to market. In my opinion, marketing is what can make or break your business. Even if you have the most amazing product out there, if you have no strategy on how to market that product, then you might as well not have started the business. The best products to sell are products that are easy to market because it has a clear target audience. So when you're trying to consider your options for the products that you want to sell or the business that you want to start either it be crafts or you're offering a service if it's hair makeup whatever it is think about it is this product or service easy to market does it have a clear target audience that my product or service is going to be satisfying their need and this takes me to my second strategy that i use when i want to determine a product or business to start and that is a product that solves a problem now products that solves a problem ties into my first strategy which is easy to market all of this works together it's not as though you're going to pick one over the other they all work together so you want to make sure you're picking a product that solves a specific problem now say for instance um you're selling a hair growth product that solves a specific problem people who are experiencing hair loss or have any issues with their hair would be absolutely interested in your product and why is this easy to market because it solves a problem and this problem relates to a person's self-image a lot of people care about their self-image so businesses in the beauty industry tend to do well because it has a clear target audience it helps people solve a problem and they are also easy to market okay now my next strategy is a product that addresses a social cause now what does that mean it means that your product doesn't only solve the problem but it also addresses a social issue that could be um starting a makeup brand or a hair business or a jewelry business or a clothing business it doesn't really matter what type of business it is the main point here is that it addresses a social issue it could be um stigma against kids or stigma against women or stigma against adults now i can use myself as an example um last year i turned 30 you guys know my age now but whatever last year i turned 30 for my 30th birthday i decided to launch a ring now this ring was addressing a specific thing and that's the societal stigmas against women once they approach 30 or once they're 30 plus now obviously if you're a woman and you're uh, you know 30 or 30 plus you would know that there's a lot of stigma around that and you know and it, a lot of it is tied to our worth as a woman so i decided to launch a, a ring it's an affirmation ring the goal of the ring was to remind women that regardless of what the standards are in the society for women especially when we're 30 plus this ring is a reminder that you're amazing and you're worthy and you're loved now this ring was a rotating affirmation ring and it had six affirmations on them now there are a lot of affirmation products out there the only things that sets me apart is the fact that i had a specific target audience and my product was addressing a specific social issue and that is the stigma against women as they get older so if you want to start a business it doesn't matter the industry that you want to go into you can attach it to a social cause right and this is something that you should be passionate about obviously you're not just going to pick something random that um, you're not passionate about and the great thing about businesses that are social enterprises or that have a social course is the fact that they are also very easy to market because these are societal issues you know people who are experiencing those issues will align with you as a brand and will support you and will want to be associated with you and be drawn to your products so that's another thing to consider so like i said make sure you pick a product that is easy to market a product that addresses a social cause a product that solves a specific problem and in all of this make sure that 
whatever product that you choose it has a low startup cost and as a good profit margin now a low startup cost is relative depending on the individual right you can start a business with two thousand dollars you can start a business with 5k you can start a business with a hundred thousand dollars but what i want to encourage you guys to do is make sure that your product also has a good profit margin now if you don't know how to price your product i have a video on my channel i'm going to link it somewhere go check that out it also talks about some of the strategies that i use to price my product because at the end of the day whether you have a social course or whether you you know you don't have a social course the whole point of starting a business is for you to be profitable in your business anyway this is the end of the video i hope you guys um, found this helpful if you did please make sure to like make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on the notification bell when i release new videos just like this thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye